In this video, we present our mesh modeling framework with which we can suggest contours simply by means of sketching. What follows is a step-by-step -step instruction on how we created the figure on page 1 of our paper. First, let's open the mouth by selecting a region of interest, here the pre-selected region in dark blue. We find the object silhouettes in this region, select one, possibly crop it, and can thereafter sketch new approximate silhouettes in its place. Here we see how easy it is to iterate through various sketches and expressions until we are pleased with the result we have obtained. In cases like these where the silhouettes are on nearly flat regions of the surface, Using approximate sketching retains the characteristics of the shape by emphasizing the differential geometric properties over the sketch displacements. This allows us to hint at the shape we want to create. Instead of selecting silhouettes, we can also simply sketch directly onto the model to create a handle. Here, we intend to raise the eyelid by selecting it, and again hinting at the desired position, this time with more weight on the sketch. Note that this operation still produces a smooth result due to boundary constraints around the dark blue region of interest. Now we want to create a crease in the mesh along the nose of our camel model by sketching where exactly we want the feature to appear. We find an appropriate edge path close to the sketch, shown in red, and adjust the vertices of this path to lie under the sketch. We can scale the Laplacians along this line, resulting in either a sharp ravine or a ridge, as was desired in this case. We can also subsequently modify the silhouette of this ridge by applying our previously shown silhouette editing tool. Again, by iterating through possible shapes. In the following example, we show that our feature sketch does not have to follow mesh edges, but can cross them almost arbitrarily. Again, we sketch a path onto the mesh, find an edge path by weighted dykes or search, and adjust and relax the geometry nearby. Here, we can create a ravine under the eyelid directly where we sketched. Details of our geometry adjustment procedure are given in the paper. Finally, a subtle yet very effective way of sketching mesh edits is by creating suggestive contours. As previously, we prepare the geometry for the adjustments, only now we segment vertices in a larger region around the sketch, thereby determining the axes around which we will rotate the Laplacians. By uniformly rotating the Laplacians, we create weak or strong contours as seen from the camera. These contours become silhouettes in nearby views. Note how the highlights meet directly on this contour. Now we have created the screaming camel model using only a few simple strokes.